Today we're going to take a look at a very interesting a mini guitar. Now, um, in particular, uh, a lot of guitarists, you know, um, especially after they've been playing a while, um, you know, and, and I mean, want to be able to play and play when they come up with ideas and or practicing type things. They want a mini guitar, um, just something they can put in the living room while they're sitting on the couch, you know, and just play, you know, a little, maybe during the commercials or whatever. And they don't want it to take up a lot of space, obviously. Um, and so you would think that this would be quite simple to find, but actually it's not. In fact, um, man, it took me years to find the shredder. Release the shredder! Here it is. As you can tell, this is definitely a little mini guitar right here. Right? I mean, it's tiny, you know, but it, it plays. <laughs> taking all that seriously, you know, it's got a single coil pickup. Probably not the best one either. I mean, this is almost a toy, but it isn't. Um, and it's, you know, the, the frets are so tiny. In fact, the, the entire neck is so tiny, you know. And, and it's fine for just, you know, once in a while, just playing a little... chords or what have you. You know, this kind of stuff. Or even lead ideas. I mean, that's not bad, you know, but, um, you know, you certainly want to, wouldn't want to record with this or, you know, play out somewhere or, you know, do some uh, serious playing, really. Still worthwhile to have, um, you know, to, for, you know, when you're doing maybe a learning theory type things and working out different chord shapes and those kinds of things. And it's fine for that. It's very good, in fact. Um, you know, and you can imagine, uh, you know, you can have, you know, freaking <laughs> eight, nine, ten fret stretches, you know, because it's so small. However, um, today we're going to look at something that's a little better than this. You know, something where they took a small guitar idea, right, and made it um, more professional with a standard size fretboard, right, which is very unusual. You know, here, I mean, just to do a bar chord is, is kind of difficult just because... small.
especially if you get into the upper registers here. Now I'll try to do a minor chord here. <laughs> you know, so you know, I mean, your hand get all gets all scrunched up because it's so tiny. So and you would think it would be easy to find, but it really isn't. And I've tried even smaller guitars than, than the Shredder. I'm sorry, Shredder. You know. Um, uh, and the problem with those, they just don't, they don't stay in tune. Right? Because of the scale, you know, where the neck's just this big or whatever, it doesn't, doesn't work. I mean, it doesn't stay in tune. Right? And not only that, um, I mean, you have to get into weird, you know, playing 11s, 12s, 13 size strings on it, you know. Uh, finally, I just said, well, I'll just forget it. You know, and so I, I've been sticking with the shredder. Uh, however, a friend of mine from Indianapolis had made a, a sizely investment in a mini guitar, right? And he said, hey, I've got a bootlicker I want you to try, right? And I thought he was challenging me to a fight or something. What do you mean, bootlicker? I'm not a bootlicker. I told him real gruffly, you know. He said, no, 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 you don't understand. It's a spade. And a spade? I thought that was some kind of derogatory term he was calling me. Um, however, it was neither of those things. And in fact, referred to the shape of the guitar, right? Um, almost like a shovel, you know, a spade because of the shape of the guitar, and I'm going to show it to you here. And in fact, um, it wasn't called the bootlicker, it was called the bootlegger. Bootlegger spade. Mini guitar. And it's a headless guitar, right? And um, I was stunned that he brought over this little case I go, man, what's he got in there? Banjo or something? You know, it was so small. And let me show it to you here. Um, this is kind of an unboxing, um, you know. Now, you don't quite have to be a professional to do this kind of unboxing. Um, you should at least have, you know, learner's permit or something like that. All right, let's take a look at it. So here you go, and I don't know if I can give you a an idea of how small this case is, you know, unlike a, a huge guitar case, uh, they really made a mini case, a hard shell case, right? Um, you know, it's not quite half the size of a, of a normal guitar case, but it has handle and the hinges are about the same as a big case you know and right there see if I can get that in the camera Ugh. bootlegger spade okay and here we go drum roll please have an official well almost official not quite an unboxing right but a case opening here we go. Okay, I got one. And there's the other. Okay, and you open it up to reveal a nice plush lining. And out comes the spade. Release the spade! Here we go. Okay, uh, let me put this case away. And here it is. Now, 
you'd be surprised it's, it's not much bigger than the shredder sorry shredder right pretty pretty amazing here you know it's pretty close quite amazing now while the shredder has you know a little mini neck this is a full-sized guitar neck right um, and what makes it smaller is it's headless here almost like a Steinberger type of guitar right right here I go uh oh here we go we're gonna have locking tuners and all that business and I was pleasantly surprised that it's well it's not a floating bridge you know um, it's not locking at all that uh, this thing stays in tune I mean it's every bit feels and plays and sounds like a, a regular guitar not only that a very decent guitar and here for the tuning all the tuning pegs are along the bottom here right almost like fine tumors on a Floyd tremolo you know so very easy to keep in tune so let's plug it in here we go and I found this to be ideal especially for the living room plays really really well and here I'm playing in the neck position um, obviously a big improvement in sound quality compared to the shredder you know the little mini guitar um, feels every bit as good as a normal guitar and um, the sound quality is really good now real quick before I forget here's the the bridge position in the clean now you've got tone and volume right feels well bridge wise um kind of a you know it's not a floating bridge you know i i, I really just like those floating bridges because i always rest my hand on the bridge and it goes out of tune and that's not the case here and that's what surprises me so much <laughs> It's just a really well thought out guitar and it plays really well uh, in fact I very much like the, the, the neck and the pickups you know um, now here's the middle position you know, just, and the tone you know obviously 
obviously affects the tone, but it does it very well and very smoothly. <laughs> humbucking pickups. I mean, this is a serious instrument, okay? This is not a toy, you know? <laughs> I mean, it may seem like it. Now, I, I'm very perplexed by the the marketing of this guitar. It's very interesting, you know? I, I'm not sure what the connection is there with a bootlegger and, uh, and calling it the spade because of the shape of the guitar. I guess it looks a little bit like a shovel. It doesn't really do that to me, but... And, um, interestingly, my friend told me it came with a flask. You know those old liquor flasks? Right? Uh, that's just bizarre to me. In fact, and the writing kind of reminds me of the, um, that whiskey, you know, Jack Daniels. It kind of reminds me of that. Very, very odd as far as the marketing goes. Um, however, it's just a, it's just a really nice instrument. I mean, and the, the neck even is is really good. You know, it's kind of. Um, guitar, which I also had in the living room, when I was sitting on the couch, obviously, this was just a lot more comfortable to play, a lot easier. One, it's lighter, you know, um, than a regular guitar would be, you know, and also, I mean, it's out of the way, you know, you're not going to knock anything over, you know, if you're moving the guitar around and things. Um, in fact, I guess the only criticisms I had with this guitar, um, very first thing is the input jack right here, okay? Um, I mean, it's a normal input jack, okay, where the cable goes in. However, um, you know, that's, that area is used quite heavily. And, and by the way, it's the same thing on my Parker guitar, okay? And as you, you know, take over time wear and tear of inputting a guitar cable, you know, unplugging a guitar cable and things, well, these darn input jacks get loose, right? Um, you know, there's a nut that holds it on and eventually it starts to loosen and things. And one thing I didn't like about this guitar um, is that I discovered that the the nut of the input jack and the washer underneath it are plastic, right? The actual jack is metal, but the washer is plastic, you know, um, and as, as a result, it gets a little loose after a while, and you've got to tighten it up, you know? 
And you would think that'd be a simple deal. However, you gotta take this input jack plate off right here, right? And because it's a mini guitar, the screws, well, you have to have almost a, a you know, a jeweler's screwdriver. You know, a small screwdriver. Okay, I'm exaggerating. Not a, you know, not a jeweler's screwdriver, but pretty darn close. You know those little screwdrivers, you know, you can usually fix glasses with and things? Well, that's kind of what you need for that. You know, and I found that very a little frustrating. Um, and one thing I want to show you on this guitar, uh, what I was really surprised about is these pickups, right? I mean, they're really nice and clear, and they're just the right um, gain, if you like. some pickups that are just way too hot, you know, at least for my amps, you know, um, and this one just seems just right. surprised about is that these pickups are really good um, even on high gain kind of thing, you know, distorted things. I'll show you that here. So this is a bootlegger um, spade guitar and it's really an easy guitar to play and very easy to get used to. I do find that the, the bridge, you know, is very interesting because it's kind of a fixed bridge um, but it still has those tuners and things. Um, it, just, it just plays really well.
interesting about this guitar is, um, you know, on the um, well, on the living room couch, you know, I don't use it with a strap at all. Um, and it's just very easy to play. I find it's a little harder when you're sitting down and using the guitar without a strap, you know. Super Champ X2. guitar um, it's really a nice instrument now the spade could also be um, you know like in the old west where they you know use cards I, I don't know if they had that in mind or you know kind of an old west you know maybe southern rock kind of a guitar or something what are my overall opinions of this guitar I think uh, one it, it's it's right around the um, a little bit under the five hundred dollar mark, you know, four sixty five somewhere around there. 
there. So it's not an inexpensive guitar, but it's definitely a playable guitar, you know. And I really like the pickups. I think and the sound is very good. You know, uh, what I've noticed lately, especially on the guitars of late I try, is that even more than the pickups and things, the bridge makes such a difference. And here you've got a bridge that's it's not quite a floating bridge, and it doesn't feel like a fixed bridge. It's kind of a little bit in between. Um, nothing you couldn't get used to, you know, and play. Um, I also found that the pickups were really good with high gain type things, almost better than clean. And they also remind me very much like Fishman pickups, you know, where they're very, very clear, you know, and I found these pickups to be that way. And then the very simple, you know, three-way switch and a tone and a volume. And that's it. Um, and usually I've, I've found, you know, as I said, a lot of mini guitars, they just don't measure up, you know. Well, this is one that actually does and that you can play, you know. Um, so, if weight is an issue, the weight of the guitar, or the size of it, this is an alternative. You know? um, very interesting guitar. Now, would it have sound better if the flask had been included? Um, you know, very strange that they provide a flask for the guitar. I mean, I don't know, maybe... You, know, you put alcohol in it and you drink it and then the guitar sounds better? I don't know. It's a little bizarre. Um, so, and this guitar is really uh, affectionately um, come to be known as the bootlicker. It's kind of its nickname, you know, amongst my friends and things. Uh, very interesting guitar. Um, a very good quality guitar. All right. See you next time. Bye.